It's a Boston heartbreaker for the Badgers. We'll hear from Bo, the players, and the fans after a painful loss to top seed Syracuse. Live team coverage coming up. Yep, what a heartbreaker tonight in Boston. Good evening, everyone, if you can say that. I'm Sarah Carlson. It came down to the wire where Wisconsin lost to Syracuse by just one point. We have live team coverage from Boston with sports director Jay Wilson and Eric Franke. Eric's been talking with fans, and Jay has been with the team after their loss, guys. Sarah, yeah, you know, as far as games go in the big da dance, it doesn't get a whole lot more entertaining than this one. But in the end, it was a real kick in the gut for the Badgers as they fall, as you mentioned, in a real nail biter to the Syracuse Orange. Now, sports director Jay Wilson, of course, has been covering this team all season long. And boy, this was, this was a tough one to swallow, but so close. Yeah, well, you and I have been in a lot of post game yeah. locker room situations. Yeah. This is about as disappointed a group as I've ever seen. And, uh, and you can understand why. I mean, they did so many things well. They didn't turn the ball over much, hit 14 threes. And in the end, 64 63 Syracuse. Here's Badger head coach Bo Ryan after the game. Just really proud of my guys. We can play with anybody in the country, and uh, they proved that again. Anytime a team gets better as the year goes on, I think that's a good sign. And Jordan Taylor was a big reason for that. Rob Wilson is a senior, also as leaders. These guys did a great job. We played well enough to have this one on our side. Well, and, uh, the players had pretty similar things to say, although in a more quiet, muted tone, and we'll hear from them coming up a little later in sports. All right, Jay, thank you very much. You know, this was essentially a home game for Syracuse. I'd put the orange to red ratio at about 90 to 10, but man, when Bucky started cashing those threes in the middle of this game, well, the UW fans got pretty excited. The Syracuse fans looked a bit shell-shocked for a bit, but when Syracuse finally edged the Badgers in the end, well, the fans disappointed, but boy, they were proud of this scrappy effert by this Badger squad. Well, what'd you guys think? What do you think? It was a heck of an effort, huh? It was a heck of an effort. You know, they gave it their best, and, and it was just so close, but yet so far away. It was a little heartbreaking, but I'm glad it was such a close game. I mean, Madison really put up a good fight. It was it very exciting <laughs> till the end. Yeah, yeah. It's disappointing tough, but, loss. Yeah, it's a kick in the gut, but you were feeling it like I was, weren't you, when they were hitting uh, those threes? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we were up there dancing. It was heartbreaking, but it was a great game, and they stayed within one point, and uh, that's all we can ask for at this time. It's tough after the Rose Bowl to lose this one, but, you know, put a good effort, and it was a good game. Many Badger fans getting offers from Syracuse fans as they headed for the exits for their tickets for the weekend, but they say they're going to make the most of it. A lot of them suck around in the garden after the game to cheer on their fellow Big Ten squad, the Ohio State Buckeyes game. You just saw as Ohio State advanced the Elite Eight with a win over Cincinnati, and they'll take on Syracuse, of course, on Saturday. The season ends for the Badgers. Jay will have a lot more coming your way a little bit later in sports. Sarah? All right, still a lot to be proud of. Have fun out there. Thanks, Eric.